Greetings to all of humanity's really a joy, it's a pleasure. As usual, it's always a joy to be greeting you and bringing this message of emancipation to you, whereby I'm pointing you to look no other place but to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity and that you can create your reality consciously because it is your own thoughts that is creating your reality. That's the reason why I want to speak to you today concerning why you need a vision board or the purpose of having a vision board. And as you know, I always teach from the Bible and teach you that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. That the Bible is not literal, neither is it secular history. For it was written symbolically and it has no reference to anyone who existed thousands of years ago or to any actual event that would have taken place on the earth thousands of years ago. From the beginning to the ending of the Bible, it's all a great psychological jammer. It all has to do with the human psyche. And I'm going to show you why and explain to you why you need to have a vision board. Now, when you understand that everything in the Bible is psychological, you also realize that when the Bible speaks of God in man, it is speaking of man's imagination. For the eternal body of man is the imagination and that is God himself. So the main character or the main figure of the Bible is actually man's imagination. So many people all around the world has been taking personification for persons and they have also been taking Allah glory for history. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to actually take just two scriptures for now and I'm going to dovetail those two scriptures and show you why you definitely need to have a vision board. But just before I mention those two scriptures, I just want to remind you that the Bible says that as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So remember that. That as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Now, there's a scripture in Proverbs. I think it's Proverbs 29. I think it's verses 18 where it says that without a vision, that the people perish. And then... There's a scripture in Habakkuk chapter 2. I believe you can read from verses 1 right down to verses 3. Where it tells you to write down the vision. And to make it plain. And to put it on tables I think it says or tablet. I think it's tables. Okay. But you must write down your vision. Okay. And so... My brother and my sister, when you look around, you will realize that everything that you behold, that we depend upon for this survival of having this human experience, that it was all false imagined, it was false a thought, it was false an idea, which means someone first had a vision. But they didn't just keep that vision in their mind. They made note of it. So my brother and my sisters, when you have a vision board, you are actually working with the laws that governs the universe and the laws that governs humanity because you are doing exactly what the Bible says that you must do and remember the Bible is our spiritual autobiography and it's all about us and the life we should live being a creator so it is you saying that this is what I want to create this is what I have in my vision and you put it on a board as a reminder to remind you each and every day so you can use like for example I'm using my bedroom door as my vision board okay you can use your bedroom door you can use anything okay and you use that to remind you that you're supposed to be a visionary and that without a vision, people would perish because you must have vision. 
we all use money as a medium of exchange in this life. It was for us a vision. We all ride the automobile. Okay, it was for us a vision. We all ride the airplane. It was for us a vision. Everything we depend on. It was for us a vision. We all use the computer. We all use the internet. Even the camera that I'm making this video on. It was for us a vision. It was for us visualized by someone. And for them to build this camera, they had to first draw a picture of the camera. Okay? The computer, the same thing. So my brother, my sisters, when you understand that your real self is the invisible you, it's your God self, and that God and man are one, and you can create your reality consciously, you will understand why the Bible has been teaching you how to live your life as a visionary. So the vision board, as I said before, is for you to choose anything that you want in this world and to put it on that board that you can look at it. Because whatever you focus upon, it expands. So let's say you want to own a Lamborghini or you want to own a Corvette or you want to own you know, a Porsche or whatever vehicle you would like to own. You can get a picture of that and you put it on your vision board. Let's say you want to travel to say France. You want something memorable about France so that you can visualize it. The Eiffel Tower might be a good thing for you to think about that you can see yourself being there in your imagination so you put that on your vision board also for example Australia is a place there's a certain building in Australia I always remember that in my imagination a place in a, um, a building right in Sydney Australia because I, I used to look at so much cricket with Australia cricket team and the West Indies cricket team and so on and you know when they show you those, those buildings and so on I always have a vivid imagination of it and if I look at movies and I see it and so on, I always have that vivid imagination of that building I'm, I'm just saying that to show you Okay, even I remember sometime I was looking at a, a, a movie with Jackie Chan and I saw that bill and I said, that's Australia and it was definitely so. So my brother and my sisters, that's why you really need a vision board. There are places you like to go. There's a certain amount of uh, 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 money you like to make and all of these things. So you use your vision board. And as I said before, Habakkuk 2 says that you must do that. Make note, take note of your vision of that which you so desire. And be advised that it is for an appointed time. That you must wait. You must be patient. There's a gestation period. It will come to pass. So my brother and my sisters, all the Persian people in the world who are living in lack and mediocrity because they are not using their visionary power, which is the creative power, creative power in each and every one of us that we can use to achieve our every desire. So my brother and my sisters, when you realize that which is within is that you're beholding without and as above, so below. As it is within, so is it without. Then you will realize that that which you want to go into your inner world and manifest in your outer world, they are already here already. So you, and you can just take a replica of it and have it on a board and look at it. And that will help you to repeat that which you so desire over and over, whether through visualization or through imagining, imagination or through affirmation. But the thing is, is to do it over and over and over until you impress it upon your subconscious mind. And when you close your eyes, it is because you are having an inner vision. So, your inner vision will reflect on that which you manifest. Okay? So, as I would have said before, at the beginning, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. And whatever you so desire, when you pray, 
believe you already have them and you shall receive them. And remember, true prayer is having a desire and going into meditation. Okay? So my brother and my sisters, you have to be a man or a woman of vision. Therefore, get a vision board. And you can use any part of your, your home where you can post up pictures or you can write whatever you design, stick it upon. Use it as your vision board and look at it every day. Especially in the mornings when you're awake and going to your imagination, living your imagination morning, noon and night. Before, just before you go to bed, five minutes before you go to bed or even ten minutes before you go to bed, you go and you look on your vision board of that which you so desire. And you form it. You imagine it also and fall asleep with your intention in the mindset of thanksgiving knowing that it is already a fact. It is as easy as that, my brother and my sister. So you're not supposed to wonder about how it would be done or when it would be done. Just do what you're told to, to do. The Bible tells you to do that in Habakkuk chapter 2. So you can read Habakkuk chapter 2 for yourself. You can read Proverbs 29 verses 18, I believe, for yourself also and see these things and put them together and realize you must have a vision, you must have a goal, you must have a dream, you must know where you're going and set your compass in the right direction of what you want. Whatever you desire in this world, it is right there for you. All you have to just lift your vibration and move on that frequency and attract it to you. And I'm giving you a technique that you can use and it's as simple as having a vision board. And as I said before, you can use anything around you whereby you can post your, your, your pictures or anything that you can see, okay, of what you desire. And it would be yours. It's as simple as that. But too many people worry themselves concerning how, they're gonna, how it's going to be done and when it's going to be done. So get rid of that questioning mind and get in to the limitless mind, which is your true self. Get in to the mind of God and see things through the eye of God, which is through the eye of imagination. Trust your imagination. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, this is just... Uh, a few words of encouragement to encourage you to believe in your vision, believe in yourself, believe in your goals and your dreams and take action. Do not just be a hearer, but be a doer. Okay? I hope what I say, what I've been saying, it's been made clear to you and you understand. I'm putting it the best way I can, but all you need to do is just apply action and that's it. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to thank you very much for listening to me. And I want to say if this is the first time that you're listening to me and what I'm saying is helping you in any way and you haven't subscribed already, I'm encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, uh, to share this video. So with that being said, I want to say peace, love you, I'm out.